All right, Jordan says, when linking a PR to a previous PR, do you recommend linking to the best ranking or most local PR, even if it purges, or to link to the press advantage, non-purging purging version of the press release for the most power? The second, Jordan. Um, that's a great question. I cover that in Local PR Pro, but the problem with, you know, my original strategy was to link to the best ranked, the, the top ranked PR, whatever site that was published on. If I would do a, a search for at least a partial uh, part of the title, either the whole title or part of the title of the press release. So when a press release gets published, like from, from Press Advantage, for example, it gets it gets published on pressadvantage.com domain first. And then the, the, the it gets distributed out to the press cables to all of the distribution channels. But when you do it, like if you were to just search, and I know Jordan, you probably know this, but if you just do a search for the title, then you're going to see which publication sites it's been indexed on. Um, and that's lesser now, guys. Google's gotten a little bit stricter on their um, how many press releases, like, for example, they'll, they'll, they'll index. They'll, they'll index them, but they'll put them in a supplemental index because um, it's, you know, it's duplicate content, but not in the sense that it can be harmful, guys. Just know that, all right? Um, but if you do a search on the title, you'll see – what Google thinks is the top ranked or is the it, the ones that rank the best for that search are the ones that Google thinks are the most authoritative, right? That have the most power. But a lot of those are going to purge because a lot of the distribution sites purge within 30 days. Most of them do. Um, some of them, it's maybe a little bit longer, but most of them do purge within 30 days. And so my original strategy was to either do a search for, you know, part of the title or even the keyword search if you were lucky enough to get or, you know, if you were able to get some press releases ranked for your primary keyword, which happens, then whatever was ranked at the top, you know, the, the best ranked one would be the one that you would link to from your next press release as part of the PR stack. And uh, until I found out by tracking results, let, like three months later, if I had stopped doing continuous press releases, press releases like, you know, and I did for a lot of testing, I would do three or four, I would get ranked and then I wouldn't do any more press releases. And then three months later, my rankings would drop considerably for, you know, map stuff and everything. And I would go look at the backlinks and say, well, why is that? And found out that's when I found out that press releases purged. I didn't even know that until I started testing for the local PR pro method that we developed. So then I went back and changed my strategy and said, OK, if you're going to be linking in a PR stack, you can still select your, your top ranked PR if you want. You do get quicker benefits from that. But the problem is, if you're gonna if you're gonna link to that press release that's gonna be purged, then you have to set up a redirect to to link to it. So, in other words, like use your own domain, set up a redirect using something like Pretty Links, for example, uh, that re to, so it redirects from your own domain from a URL on your own domain to the press release that you're linking to in the stack, so that when it purges, you can redirect that again to another PR, right? And, and you don't lose that the link juice from from because your other one got. Uh, purge. But that's a lot of work, especially if you're doing volume. Think about it. If you're doing, you know, three, four or five, you know, three or four press releases a month per client, and you've got to worry about every month going back and locating the links that have been purged and then setting up new redirects it, in very short order, you're going to be overwhelmed. It's going to be, you know, you can't um, maintain that for very long. So to answer your question, yes, all I do now is link directly back to those that I know will not purge. Press Advantage being one of them. I either link directly back to the organization page or I link to, to a previous press event, you know, one of the press releases uh, that are published on the Press Advantage domain, or I'll link back to like Digital Journal. I don't think Digital Journal purges. Um, so that's that's another one. Those are all no follow links, but it's still a good site to link to. So I use that. Those are the ones that typically get put in Google's, Google News anyways. So like you can do a PR stack to a, a Digital Journal publication as well. Um, and there are a few others that you can find in there. You just got to do some research. And remember, if you're using other distribution services, guys, I recommend the same thing. Just find out the, the where they're going to stay live and continually link back to those. That's part of the reason Quantum Newswire has got something that's pretty cool because they've got the ability to with their plugin to um, use your own domain or your client's domain or whatever as the, distri the main distribution point. In other words, where, you know, Press Advantage, it publishes on their domain first, and then it goes out to the, it distributes through the press cables to the others. 
So a lot of the original credit, the citation, the attribution goes back to press advantage. I'm okay with that because I'm siphoning authority from press advantage too, right? It's what the organization page does and the iframes and all of that. So I'm okay with that. But if you want to build the, the attribution and the citations and everything back to your own domain, then you'd want your own domain or your client's domain for that matter to be the main point of the, the original publication point, right? And so that's why, like I said, Quantum Newswire has got some really cool stuff going on. And the only reason I brought them up a couple of times today is because they've just recently released a new feature. Um, and I know that we're going to probably end up promoting that here in the coming coming weeks. Um, we're not trying to overwhelm anybody with press release stuff, but it is a very, very powerful strategy, guys. Um, you know, I still my primary source is Press Advantage, but Quantum Newswire has got some pretty cool stuff coming out, too, that attacks the SEO from a different angle. If that makes sense. Okay, so um, 